Listen, you cannot expect me to read this title with the words spread out all willy-nilly here. Look at this. Look at how wrong this looks. Flip the lip, hang ten, or shave the barrel. I'd bet money at least one of those terms is slang for playing with yourself. Jimmy points in fear before Ed even jumps. Ed could have just been taking over lifeguard duty. I mean, better an idiot soda machine hybrid than nobody. He won't pay for kitty rides. About a minute from now, we learn that Plank's completely broke, so yeah, no shitty wouldn't pay. Eddie's hand changes poses when the camera cuts. I'm scared stiff. Stiff as a board. That's what he said. Wood eating termites. Wood eating termites. So, regular termites? Look a little closer there. Johnny's black eye forms before he even hits the ground. He actually shouldn't have gotten a black eye at all. Plank says who needs that fat-headed, no-neck, chicken-livered geek anyway? I say who needs that Dutch Elm disease-ridden douchebag that serves no purpose other than talking shit and sponging money off their best friend. Also, geeks bite the heads off chickens, so if they have chicken livers, that's just fucked up. I'll just get it over with here. I did a Plank Says count. Johnny says it eight times in this episode. Fast forward to that shitty episode where Plank's mouth gets erased and Johnny should have seen that coming. Jimmy was doing us a favor! Ed's visually scared of heights here, but later in this episode he rides a roller coaster and has a blast! Do these termites eat leaves too? Also, the termites should definitely be able to eat Plank here, especially considering we just saw that they can jump. The Eds fall here. From left to right we've got Double D, Ed, and Eddie. Now as they hit the water, they've made a complete flip. Now when they pop their heads up, Double D and Ed flip. That guy's really getting on my nerves. You and me both, Eddie. Ed ends up with a fish on his head even though they were just using him as a raft. The fish can't settle itself on top of his head from that position. Welcome to Requiem for a Whiplash. Like Requiem for a Dream? What the hell? I'm trying to watch a kid's show here, and you're going to remind me of a movie with gangrene arm amputations and double-sided sex toys? Thanks for the nightmares. Hand over. Hunk of wood. Gullible? You're getting ready to ride with him! Faster, pussycat, Ed doesn't add kill kill to faster pussycat. Double D almost said a bad word, Eddie. Ed says Dickens and pussycat in this episode, and yet he calls out Double D for almost saying a bad word. I got 75 cents! Earlier, Eddie said he had 75 cents, but more than that falls out of his pocket here. Eddie doesn't know you shit, Plank. Double D made the ride, wannabe hustler. Good one, buddy. It was not good. Are we having fun yet? <laughs>